last week on the season. I don't want to be another receiver at Ole Miss. You know, I don't. All the top guys, Dante, AJ, DK, Lodge, you know, everybody who was here, I don't want to just be another name. They're literally just recording us being fat, sitting on a couch, <laughs> eating. <laughs> this is how we do it. <laughs> it's like the stereotype of Ole Miss linemen. Game day, man. You know what we love to do? You no? Know? Easy. Easy work. Hey, this win streak starts today. One, Team on three. One, two, three. Team. Come on, baby. Oh. Come on. Rebels have it at the two. Under center is Matt Corral here. He brings more in motion. Takes the snap, sprints to his right, throws to the end zone. He's got his man, Elijah Moore, with the touchdown out of the motion. And the Rebels can win it here with a PAT. Probes the snap, the kick is on its way, and it's good. And Ole Miss has knocked off Kentucky dramatically again. Elijah, for you personally and for the team as a whole, how important was getting that win on Saturday and being able to restart and saying, you guys won a close game this time and now you know you can do it? I always knew we could do it. Winning is obviously the, the ultimate goal of any game. So it wasn't really, you know, it was obviously a great, you know, thing for us to win, you know, one and know, start fresh, but the ultimate goal is to win every game. It doesn't matter if it's close, you know, 51, 52, 41, whatever it was ultimate goal is to just always win. Number one team in the country coming in, in my opinion, um, and the premier program in the country. No offense to Clemson. You know, those are the two two premier programs that are operating the highest level over the last, whatever, 10 years, and um, and this one's doing it in the SEC, so it's a little bit harder. You know, we worked together for three years, learned a lot from them, had a great run. I think we'd won 24, 26 straight games. Uh, when that was over there. So, uh, very productive times with a lot of great players and a lot of wins. Um, only two regular season losses were to Ole Miss. So, um, good time and obviously very grateful to him. Hey, Elijah, you guys have uh, really struggled, kind of like a lot of people, against Alabama the last few years. What is it about playing them that is so difficult? <laughs> uh, I won't really say nothing difficult. It's just like any other team. You know, they're. They put their pads on just like we do, so I, I can't really answer that question. I just, we just got to be ready. You know, they got good coaches, they got good schemes, but we got good coaches and we got good schemes, so we just gonna have to see. Of course, we want to keep the game. You know, we want to win and everything. And win is the ultimate goal. So we don't want to go in thinking about the past. You know, we just look forward to the future. Focus. We 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 control. What we can control. Just briefly, what can you do to get Jerry on more involved, kind of just more explosive in the offense? Block better. Um, you know, it's hard to run when, you know, you know, they're not big holes. So uh, we got to block better. And, and if we were running more efficient, we'd run them more. You know, we don't, I think if you follow over the years, we do what works, you know? And so, um, you know, when, when we're throwing the ball really well, we throw more. And we would like to run more, but we got to be more efficient. That's just focused. You know, everyone's just ready. No one's, you know, Kentucky, just like uh, Kiffin said this morning, you know, Kentucky game is over with. We on, we on to the next. We got Bama. You know, we got a big opponent. We just got to focus up. We got to lock in. More questions for Elijah. All right, Elijah, thank you very much. Thank you, Appreciate guys. it. Here we go. That would be hot. Feel good, boy. Even with the early offensive success, Coach Lane Kiffin wants to see more out of his run game, and that starts with the dynamic sophomore, Jerry on Ely. All right, hey, bring it up. Bring it up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Hey, extreme focus, all right, extreme focus. Don't feel pressure, apply pressure. I am not letting you not come out here and be a, not be a perfectionist. That makes sense? 
accept the challenge. All right, when I get on you about the smallest thing, I don't want y'all to be putting y'all head down again. I got you, coach. Let's go. Let's get some spunk. We got the hardest game of our life coming up, and we got to win. And it takes focus. Don't go through the motions today. Start right now. RBs on three. One, two, three. RBs. Let's go. Can we stem a man right there? Okay. No! We can't stem a man to go out? To make the... You gonna be like this. Yeah, that gonna confuse him. And that give us more room. I think my phone updated last night. <laughs> oh. Yo, long to go? Hell no. <laughs> my phone was updated. <laughs> I'm talking about you answer like you had the best. Hey, boy, you late. Uh, All right. Because <laughs> as soon as I, I looked at it, I said, dang, this can't be good. Yep. I looked, as soon as I woke up, Whenever I I'm saw this. Whenever I'm practice, it's over. <laughs> Whenever I hit your phone and you ain't here. Good. Now, hey. Usually when that happened, when that, that happened to me one time in college, I ain't even brushing my teeth. I just, oh, yeah, wake up, the hell of the hop out of bed, throw some clothes on. Yeah. Don't be late. <laughs> Like any college student, Jerrion is learning to be responsible. Uh. Off the field, his friend Benji teaches him how to look out for others. All right, so Benji's my dog. For anyone who doesn't know who Benji is, all right, so uh, y'all might get to see Benji. I don't know. We'll have to talk that out. I got him December 23rd, two days before Christmas. It's my Christmas present. <laughs> when we do come on the walk, we take a lap around the lake. Normally, he don't make it that far. <laughs> Y'all see his pace right now? It'll slow down in a second. Don't you worry. All the geese are gone. You don't get to chase any today. I've kind of always wanted a French Bulldog. Ever since my cousin got hers, I've always wanted one since then. And so, came to college and I was like, it's the perfect time to get a dog. We go to throw at the intramural fields and he'll bring out Benji and Benji's just running around the, <laughs> the intramural fields. He loves that thing, I love it too. I think anybody that comes in contact with it loves, loves little Benji, but it's his little sidekick. He's a growing boy. He's only 11 months old, so he's getting a little taller. Probably get a little bigger in mass, but other than that, that is how tall he's going to be. Every time I see him, I see him, it just make me happy. Just put a big smile on my face. Because he always, it's how you know he's happy. He's years ago back, and he'll start moving his butt to the side like this right here. And that's how he be doing. So I'll be happy. This, I'll be glad and ready to, be, ready to see him. Just having that companion all the time. You always have a friend. Always have a friend. You know you can't swim, so I doubt you want to go in the water. I say you sleep within the next 25 minutes within us getting home. First time we're having ice cream this year. We're O line's very excited. So hopefully they got toppings in there. You gotta do hot food. That's mandatory. You gotta do. That's mandatory. You, you can't be light on it. 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 Then you gotta do the Oreos. But yes, do Oreos. Then you gotta do chocolate chips. Got the ice cream. I think this is six scoops of chocolate ice cream. With some cookie dough right there. I get some it. hot fudge. And some uh, whatever this is, whipped cream on top. <laughs> I got a, an affinity for cookie dough. So I'm getting as much cookie dough as possible. You want some Oreos? I'll get some Oreos because Oreos, I mean, shoot, this is difficult. When you got banana split recipe, you don't need the cookie dough. You don't need it. The bananas and strawberries are. Something special. That's old school. That's old school. Who's going with the fly? I think I'm gonna get the 
a little bit of cons, a little bit of chocolate, maybe the, the bananas going that route. Give me some vanilla, I want some cherries, and some butterfinger on my quick. I know, I know he didn't just, just, just say that. What did he do? He did, he did it for the camera. Uh, nothing crazy, you know, I'm just a simple person. Handsome, simple, you know how I go. What did you just say? Nothing, nothing. He's a, what did he say? Yeah. <laughs> we got strawberries, some um, vanilla, M&M's, chocolate chips. I think it's some caramel chocolate chips or some milk chocolate chips, some sprinkles, and then I'm about to finish it off with the whipped cream. And now I got to finish it off with the whipped cream. But low key though, whose looks better though? Mine definitely looks better. <laughs> Mine definitely looks better though. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> right, it was. Strawberry ice cream, chocolate syrup, strawberries, Oreos, and whipped cream. Rated from one to ten, Ben. This this wins. This beats it. You're hundred percent. You're right you're ten out of ten. What yes. is mine? It's a happy. I say it's a good eight. I like some okay, strawberries. Okay, good. 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 Then I'm gonna mess it up with this this fudge <laughs> with a little bit of uh, Oreo. Simple, but different. So I went with the strawberry with the Oreo. Five years of long ice cream experience and uh, Walker's, well, Walker's looks pretty cream. good. Walker's looks really good actually. I'm looking for the caramel but I can't find it. So I'm going with pecans and I'm going to go with some Oreo cookies. He's got Oreos on strawberry ice cream. I don't know how well that works but I'll give it a solid five. You obviously know. Solomon. You obviously are uneducated. I mean, that's just. I don't absolute. like whipped cream either, so that no, brings it goodness. down a little bit. Oh you loaded up whipped cream. Dude, ask somebody else. Caleb Warren, get rate right my ice cream. I'm not a whipped cream guy. Oh my shot. gosh. No. Royce, Royce has some sense. Rate right my ice cream from one to ten. No whipped cream. Hell no. Hell no. Wilson, Wilson, come here. Yeah, yeah. Come here. Tell us what you think. One to ten. Rate right my ice cream concoction. Oh my, what is wrong with whipped cream? I mean, what the heck? Y'all obviously never have lived before. We out of here. Can y'all hear about Hurricane Shark? You heard about Hurricane Shark? Hurricane Shark? Hurricane Shark. I heard about that too, but they say it's going to touch down by 6 30. 6 30. 6 30. In the boat. They say nothing. Who knows? Hurricane, Hurricane Shark on their way now. Hey, it's gonna be fun out there. When we scope, we're gonna slide in the end zone with the mud. Hope they don't call the flag though. But it's gonna be pretty fun out there with the mud. Definitely gotta make Benji proud today. He gonna be watching. All right, dial in here, make sure we're all on the same page, all right, as we're getting started, all right? It's another different formation that they haven't seen. The presentation should be really fast, too. You're making it look like run all the way, take care of the ball, keep your speed, 84, catch, and score. The best part about all of this, right, is we put in a ton of work, and all you got to do is be you. That's it, be you. Let's go play our ass off, play for each other, have a bunch of damn fun, win on three. One, two, three, win! All offseason, the conversation around the Ole Miss-Alabama game has been the same. What will happen when Lane Kiffin squares off with his former boss, Nick Saban? I just am amazed at the relationship because it's kind of equal part respect and disdain. Now make no mistake, the three years those two spent together in Tuscaloosa benefited both men greatly, but it always seems like Lane's kind of like that ornery middle child who is still finding ways to irritate the pops. So it, it'll be interesting to see how that plays out. Coach Saban learned early his protege knew exactly what buttons to push. Another play fake, another open receiver. Nice move through the open field by the tight end, Kenny Yaboa. Corral fakes the run, has a man open. It's Yaboa for the Ole Miss touchdown. Could you draw up the start any better for Ole Miss? You get it to Elijah Moore, you get it to Yaboa, and then go to Yaboa one more time on the jump pass. And off right side, the ball is loose. Ole Miss claims they've got it. Kind of stuck Harris up at the line of scrimmage, and Ja'Cory Hawkins stripped him. That'll be the first turnover ever for Najee Harris. And here's the handoff, and straight ahead, some room. The 15, the 20, it's Snoop Connor. He's a 30, 40, and out of bounds on the Alabama sidelines. What a run. And now a couple penalties in a very unmanageable third down situation takes him out of scoring zone. Just going to try to hit him with a surprise run. He'll and go now, for it. Yeah, we'll see what that analytics book yeah. says. So you got fourth down. Rebels are electing to go for it. There's the snap. 
Brown wants to throw, swings it near side, got his man caught. Ely to the five, knocked down at the three yard line. Little wheel route out of the left hand side. He leaked open and has the first down. Now here they go super fast and getting the ball to Ely on the side. Ely into the end zone, is he? Yes, he is. That was really a tough run by Ely, who's not a real big back, and he ran right through the tackle of Will Anderson. Y'all boys just got to run. We're going to make a statement. We're going to make a statement. We talk about it. We're going to make a statement. Stay low. I'm going to keep y'all fresh, and we're just going to keep switching until we both get the 200 yards. We're going to keep switching. Let's go. No matter the situation, the Tide had no answer for the Rebels' two-headed monster. Fourth and one for Ole Miss. Rebels there at the line of scrimmage. A handoff to Connor Wright. He's got it and more. He's to the 25, the 20, to the sidelines, to the 10, and knocked out of bounds there. Again, problem plays. The formation created a problem for Alabama's defense, and then the run crushed him on fourth down. It's Snoop again, and Snoop fights into the end zone. Touchdown. Oh, Miss! What a terrific drive. 75 yards. Don't know how many plays, but Snoop Connor finished it off right there with two, three, actually three great runs. Even with the Rebels running wild, the Crimson Tide offense kept pace throughout the half. Najee Harris off the left side. He goes in easily. Touchdown, Alabama. The Crimson Tide, a PAT away from tying this one up. I mean, this is the number two team in the country, the big boy on the block in the SEC West, and you have played them off their feet in the first half, and, and the scoreboard's dead even. All right, we talked about it being a long game, all right? Okay, first half doesn't matter right now, okay? It really is 0-0, zero, zero, all right? You've got to maintain the high standard of play, okay? You cannot take anything for granted. You've got to make every play when it's there to be made, okay? Go out and play and beat the guy across from you for longer than he does you, and we will win the game. That's all you got to worry about. And all we got to do is execute. That's it. Let's just go be us and take care of it. Let's go. Come on. Yeah. Hell yeah! Let's go! Yeah. Hey, one, three. One, two, three. Three. three! The first half featured an offensive explosion from both squads. That was only a warm-up to what lay in wait for the final 30 minutes. Second down and two for Alabama with the Ole Miss 33. Off the left side, Harris, he's got a big hole, the 20, the 15, the 10. Hit, dives for the end zone, and he's in there. Touchdown, Alabama. Nick Saban and the Tide leading for the first time tonight. Alabama 28, Ole Miss 21 is our score. So see if the Rebels can answer, get right back in the game. Corral down the field. It's the tight end, Yaboa, off to the races again. Touchdown, Ole Miss. 28-28, 12.47 to go in the third quarter. We got a boxing match here between Lane Kiffin and Nick Saban here in Oxford. Alabama first and goal from the three, tied at 28-28. And it's a beautiful play fake to Robinson, dumped off in the flat, and Forrestal has the touchdown. Yeah, next play, I'll make up right now. Corral running out of time. Now Zings went over the middle and it's caught. Sandlot ball works for the Rebs. Well, not only did Elijah Moore make a great play on the back end of that, just an incredible play. I don't know how Matt Corral got that off. And Ely's now back in. Hand off to the left side. He's got it. He's in the end zone. Touchdown. Oh, man. Jerry and Ely takes it to the house. We're a PAT away from tying it again. Hand off right side, pushing to the goal line and breaking the plane for the touchdown is Najee Harris. That's old school power football there. Third down play here. Third 14, it's about 13 and a half. Snoop Connor has a lot of ground to cover and he did. What a call. First screen that we've seen tonight. Great call by Jeff Levy on third and long. Can't say enough about the play calling in this game. The game had become a winner-take-all shootout and looked as if whoever had the ball last was going to come out on top. And here's fourth down and goal, trying to tie it. Snoop Connor, the running back, having a career night. Snoop Connor lunges for the goal line, touchdown! But in a heavyweight fight, there's little room for error. Alabama kept scoring touchdowns, while Ole Miss had to settle for field goals. From the 18, this will be a 28-yard kick. It's right in the middle of the field. Luke Logan will kick that one, and he's got the distance. And it's an easy one and good. 
Lane Kiffin's team made a major statement versus the number two team in the country. His offense rewrote the record book, notching the most ever yards versus a Crimson Tide defense. Proving to the nation, this bunch is a force to be reckoned with. What a game. Wild shootout between Ole Miss and Alabama. Number two, Crimson Tide, and they win it 63-48. to You can have a coaching staff that's going to sit here and tell you, great job, okay, you guys played really hard. That's not the staff, all right? You had a chance to beat the best team in the country that has beaten us the last three years by 50 points a game. And it's not that complicated, guys. All right? If we do what we're supposed to do, we're in here and we beat that team. Beat them. But we don't because we're not consistent enough. We don't tackle, all right? We don't finish drives, all right? And we create negative plays. So it's not good enough. We have to get better. You know, really disappointing game with the outcome. You know, have the number one team in the country on the ropes. You know, have a chance to, you know, beat them at home here and we don't get it done. You know, no one runs the ball normally on these guys and so, you know, that was good to see, and actually I was surprised at halftime saying, all right, we need to run the ball more, you know, because I came into the game saying we're going to have to throw the ball 50 times, you know, to have a chance in this game. So, you know, I think our line did a good job, and backs did a good job too. It doesn't, it doesn't matter how our, def how our defense plays. Regardless of how our defense plays, we need to do our job. You know, we can't have those little mistakes. And like you said, a team like that, the when you make mistakes, you can't make many of them. And when they make mistakes, you need to capitalize on it. And, uh, you know, we didn't do that tonight. Uh, I mean, just come back on Monday, get better. We lost. A loss is a loss. I mean, I'm not happy at all about it. I mean, we lost. I really wish we won. So, I mean, just come back on Monday, just get back to work and get prepared for the next game. The hard work that we put into it, uh, like I said, Coach Kiffin and Levy created a, a great scheme. Coaching staff did a good job of coaching us, and we just went out there and executed.